But see, that's never what the new economy was really about. Sometimes people say to me, well, the dot-com boom went bust. The never-ending stream of good news ran into a logjam. Lately, there's been a lot of bad news on the front pages. Where are these Generation Xers now? They're in their late 30s, early 40s. They have children. They have mortgages. They must be seeking security. And they are. But we interview them every day, and some of them we've been interviewing for 14 years. We'll say, you must be seeking security now. And they say, oh, yes, I am. We say, so you ready to pay your dues and climb the ladder the old-fashioned way? You know what they tell us? They say, hey, I'm too conservative to do that. Have you noticed the world's in a state of constant change? Everything's uncertain. I can't put all my eggs in one basket. I've got to keep my options open. I'm not a free agent because I want to be. I'm a free agent because I have to take care of my family. And what we're learning from Generation X now is what the new adult conservative security-seeking behavior looks like. And we're learning there's no going back. Now, these are your mid-level leaders. Now, this should be your bench strength for senior leadership. And I promise you, they're still thinking like free agents every day. They're walking in the door thinking, no hard feelings, I got to take care of my family. What do you want from me? What do you have to offer me today, tomorrow, and next week? Now, we've also been interviewing people born 1978 to 1993. Okay, Gen Xers, we're no longer the young people in the workplace, right? We've been interviewing those born 1978 to 1993. And if you like Generation X, you're going to love the generation that comes after them. Because they're like Generation X on fast forward with self-esteem on steroids. Okay, now how many people in the room were actually born during those years? Is there anyone born 1978 and later? Raise your hand if you were there. All right, we got some. Excellent. Congratulations, you're going to be the most high-maintenance workforce in the history of the world. Uh, the, the good news is you're also going to be the highest performing workforce in the history of the world. And that's what we're already learning. By the way, we've been trying very hard not to call them Generation Y. Uh, because we don't want to do to that generation what was done to our generation. So we call them global citizens born in the late 70s, throughout the 80s, and into the early 90s. <laughs> say it with me. If you don't mind, I'll say Generation Y for short. Now, Gen Yers in the room, please nod and smile vigorously so the others can see if you agree with me. Uh, I want you to be my reality check. So I want you to tell me if you disagree with me also. Text message me. <laughs> oh, just kidding, so. uh, okay, uh, so look. Uh, here's the rap that this new generation gets, that they're super high maintenance, that they start out on day one with very high expectations, that they walk in the door like, I'm here! And you're like, oh right, we forgot you were starting today. And they say, no, 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 it's me, don't you remember me from the interview? No, I, I remember you, I just forgot you were starting today. Believe it or not, for me, this is just Monday. So why don't you sit here and go over these documents from HR while I figure out where you're going to sit. <laughs> they're like, no, 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 but I mean, it's me. Don't you remember me? Listen, I've been to the website. There's 17 things we need to change about the company right away. <laughs> okay, you sit here and go over these documents from HR. Okay, cut. So here's the first question. Do they really have higher expectations? And the answer is, oh, yes, they do. They do. They do. They really do. But first and foremost, they have higher expectations for themselves.